Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share a little something, something with you. I want to talk about pointing at everyone else. And we don't always know where the problem lies. They're like, what's up with all this? Uh, who happens to be the problem here? Is it you or is it me? I want you to think about this. There are times I had a conversation with one of my relatives today. There are times when we have issues with people, don't we? And we don't always realize why. We get into arguments. We get frustrated. We get annoyed to no end. And we look at them, you know, and we wonder, what the heck is your problem? What is wrong with you, don't we? Oh, yeah. Go on, admit it, baby. Now, the one thing we have to remember, you and I and everyone else we know, no matter how together, no matter how skilled, knowledgeable, and intelligent, we got issues. We have flaws, every one of us. Every single one. Now, you have to look at it like this. When you're walking down the street and there's a group of people standing behind you, you don't see yourself from their vantage point, do you? No, you see yourself maybe in a little window, but you see front or side. They get to see what's happening behind as you walk away. Well, that's the way God, God sees us 360 degrees north, south, east, west. He sees everything and the areas that no one else can see. What happens in here and in here. And let me tell you, there are times when God allows issues to happen in relationships, not so that we can straighten them out, but so that life can straighten us out. Because God knows that we have to grow. He knows we need to mature. He wants to polish us up and, and tenderize us and, and teach us how to love deeper and better. But until we are willing to humble ourselves, we will never be able to see our flaws clearly. And as long as we cannot see what's wrong with me, myself, and I, there's no way I have a right to say what I think is wrong with them. So, before you start pointing the finger, ask God what your trip is. Ask God what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me, Lord? You may not want to hear it, but sometimes God will send somebody to tell you. Now, they may not tell you sweetly, <laughs> but if they tell you, do what my friend advised me to do. Get the truth out of it. Don't walk away and say, talk to the hand. No, get the truth out of it. There's a scripture that says, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. He will exalt you if you humble yourself. So there was a time, for example, I was in a situation where I was critical, and this woman got on my last nerve. And guess what God told me? That's not her. It's you. You are jealous of her. And it shocked me because I wasn't even aware of it. But the woman had skills that weren't meant for me to have. I was to be satisfied with my own. And that goes for you too. You have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.